Hello my love bug goodies. Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen. How to cook. Happy New Year and greetings to the holiday season. Here I'm sharing with you my must have in my kitchen. My daughters always ask me for this. Every holiday season, the mother have to make them some ribs. Whether it's beef rib, pork ribs, but the ribs are always on the table. I'm going to show you how to do this fast, easy, and simple. So, let's get started. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest of our eye, eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when he need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him why you forget. Turn your back on your brother when him need you. Okay, love bugs. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And all the amount for the recipe will be listed down in your description box. I'm going to walk you through it step by step by step. Um, you're going to need black pepper and sugar, garlic powder, onion powder, beef season because we are attempting to make the dry rub, but I'm going to definitely list everything down below and yeah it's going to be there so make sure you check that out make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and turn on those post notification all right check your description box for the amount for the recipe now this is my ribs right here and you can also use beef ribs or pork ribs you want to make sure that you wash your rib meat salt vinegar and lemon juice that's what i always use and we are going to of course remove the membrane from the back of the ribs because sometimes a lot of people leave it on you but you, it's better if you take it off because the ribs is going to cook faster for sure right it's going to cook but it's going to cook faster if you remove it now what I usually do to remove mine is just make a little slit sometimes it's more harder to come off and sometimes it's it comes off pretty easy but if the act like it I play hard forget just go ahead and do take a knife and just peel it down just help it to come off it's going to glide off pretty much like this right here but just take your time with it and it will definitely come off and remember to make sure that you have clean hands in your kitchen right clean hands goodie now now that my meat is all ready for seasoning this is what your girl is going to do to make life really really simple like one two three i'm going to go ahead and add all the spices into a container i find when i do this it makes it much easier instead of just go ahead and just double 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 a little at a time just go ahead and put it into con into a container and just go in and just mix all the spices together in that container if that make any kind of sense it makes it way way easier go in and add your extra virgin olive oil extra virgin olive oil is going to really do some miracles to it and again all the amount for the recipe will be listed down in your description box go ahead and add it in your vinegar it's going to be fast easy and simple right mix it all in it's going to come together nicely it's not going to be runny but it's going to come together nicely pretty much like that right easy 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 something just like so you can also add just a tad bit more sugar if you'd like but that was fine for me now before you add the spices on to the rib meat you want to go in and get a clean paper towel or clean napkin to towel whatever you have near at hand and pat some of that liquid that water off of the meat before you add the seasoning on make sure you have clean hands you can put on gloves but be always clean hands a clean hands i do it i like it this way but just make sure you have clean hands and you just want to press the seasoning down into the meat because when you get the season all pressed down up in it like that it's going to make a whole bunch of difference S flavor is going to be kicking up all up in that good good right 
but make sure that you don't miss any spots get that season all up in there and we are in fact going to do this on both sides right make sure you seize your meat from both sides so all you have to do here is just go ahead after you get done applying your seasoning on top all in the crack side you know the crinis and the grannies like that just go ahead and turn your meat on the other side right just turn it over on the other side and you are going to apply the seasoning on that side as well just like you do the first the first side before because you want to make sure that your ribs as one of the best flavor ever 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 it is going to look pretty much like that when you get done with it right we want to let this meat sit and chill if you want to seize it overnight you could do go ahead and do that but all i needed right here was about three hours of seasoning just make it sit and hang out and buttered for three hours yes just like so Cover it up nice. I'm just make it go and marinate, right? After three hours or so unbothered, I was ready to move on to my next step. If you take a good look, you could see where the meat is sweating. That is perfect. That's how I want it. That's what's supposed to happen. That means the season is soaked into the meat just like I want it to be perfect now you want to make sure that your oven is preheated goody your oven has to be preheated you cannot cannot put it into a oven that is cold because you are going to ruin the texture of the rib meat so make sure that when you're putting it into your oven your oven already been preheated nice and hot and all the amount again for the recipe will be listed down in the description box so check that out check that out goody i hope you guys had a wonderful wonderful christmas but this is a highly requested recipe and your girl is bringing it for the new year my daughters must have for 2020 upon the table right and not just for them but for the guests as well they will be indulging as well but yes as you can see here the meat is all set to go perfect and it smells so amazing already i don't even eat the heat yet now while i have my rib going i'm going to make a sauce for my rib meat it's very easy nothing fancy just go ahead and get your favorite barbecue sauce that you like it i'm not even going to mention what i put here just get your favorite barbecue sauce and add it into a container with some extra virgin olive oil okay and then you want to go in with a little bit of dried or fresh parsley in this case I am using dried parsley and you could use anything if you don't want to go parsley go oregano go basil but get some greens and throw it up in here mix it up now the ribs does take an hour and a half to bake all right it takes an hour and a half to bake and I always bake mine on covered you are going to take it out of the oven every 30 minutes all that right there is some good juice in the bottom and we are going to use that up later on to complete our recipe right it's some good flavor right there but when you turn it every time you turn it every 30 minutes you are going in and, and apply the barbecue sauce that is mixed with the extra virgin olive oil and the parsley and just apply it all over your ribs okay that is what we want to do here and make sure that you apply it thoroughly thoroughly now 
the last like 15 minutes of baking you want to take it up the cover off you want to leave it um, you want to go ahead and cover it up if that makes any sense so we are doing this uncovered but the last 15 minutes cover it up with some foil and just let it steam for the last 15 minutes so every 30 minutes you take it out and you apply your barbecue sauce your cooking time is an hour and 30 minutes so that means again goody every 30 minutes you take it out and you apply your barbecue sauce but in between that last 30 minutes 15 minutes from that you cover it up with your foil paper and apply some more of that good barbecue sauce and put it in the oven and you should be good to go because you want it to be nice and has a beautiful flavor on the outside as well as it soaked through on the inside but you want it also to have that nice little crunch when you bite into it on the outside but moist and juicy on the inside so the last 15 minutes you cover it with foil and put it back in the oven and you should be good to go you're, you're gonna have one of the meanest wickedest wickedest barbecue ribs in your kitchen when you are done look at what we have here it is going to be so delish you are going to love it look how the barbecue sauce is all soaked up into the ribs yes goody give this one a try because it is fast easy and simple to do and everybody gonna love it my kids love when i make barbecue ribs what it's gonna be beef ribs or pork ribs they just love some barbecue ribs my my second daughter love this kind of a recipe she is crazy she almost finished when i make recipes like this she go crazy my baby girl she loves it all my three kids love when i mama make them some barbecue honey barbecue ribs whether it's on the grill or whether it's in the oven it always comes out nice and moist look at that meat on the inside perfect perfect i hope you did enjoy the recipe goody because it was fast easy and simple to follow i did not let anything go to waste all that good juices was all dabbled up onto that rib meat honey wasn't wasting no time or wasting <laughs> telling no lie go ahead give me a thumbs up share the recipe with friends and family let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen and as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy